community roots us in the way that, you know, monks are rooted in a place. They, they take a vow of stability, right? They sink their feet into the earth and they commit to a place. At the same time, because of the nature of their community, rooted in Christ, rooted in prayer, they're constantly pointing one another towards the horizon, ultimately towards heaven itself. Community roots you while keeping your eyes on the horizon. C.S. Lewis, he puts it like this. He says that a Christian society is not going to arrive until most of us really want it. And we're not going to want it until we become fully Christian. It requires initially individual Christians, probably friends and families, living the faith robustly themselves. And out of that living, that deep living of the faith, community is formed. Community is formed that leads to incredible experiences like what happens every Tuesday night here at my home. Brotherhood, discipleship, adventure, prayer, vocations are discerned, lives are transformed. Community is what happens when people gather in a church, often called a parish, every single day, in fact, for prayer. Every single day, I'm surrounded by about 30, 40, 50 people at daily mass at my home parish, about seven minutes down the road. What an incredible experience. I, even the ones I don't know, I feel like they're my best friends because they have the same first love. Their whole understanding of what it means to be human, of what it means to be fully human, fully alive, is the same as mine. It's ultimately because we have the same end. We have the same origin and the same end, and that's God himself. What's up, everybody? This is Jimmy Mitchell. You're listening to Let Beauty Speak, a live stream retreat series that was recorded to get your hands on all of the retreats. All you got to do is go to letbeautyspeak.com.